Software and computer systems have become ubiquitous in our lives and work environment, to such an extent that we forget about how much we depend on them. Numerous software tools are used within manufacturing and as part of quality management systems. An increasing number of medical devices include software, sometimes to deliver new technologies and applications, sometimes to improve the ease of use of an existing system. Software validation seeks to ensure that all this software functions properly. Validation provides confirmation that a software item conforms to user needs and intended uses. It also seeks to guarantee that the software performs consistently without failures or safety problems. Why is software validation important? Its criticality for medical devices was brought to the forefront in 1987 with the withdrawal from the market of the Therac-25, a computer-controlled radiation therapy device. During the previous two years, several patients received massive overdoses of radiation, about a hundred times the intended dose, causing deaths and mutilations. A first incident had been reported to the manufacturer two years earlier, but the malfunction occurred rarely and was difficult to reproduce, so it took a long time before the existence of a software glitch was recognized by the manufacturer. The tragedy highlighted the dangers of software control of critical systems and led to the FDA strengthening policies on incident reporting, as well as stricter regulations on the use of software in medical devices. In spite of these efforts, malfunctions caused by software deficiencies remain frequent in medical devices and keep leading to accidents. The FDA reported that between 1992 and 1998 in the U.S., 7.7% of recalls were attributable to software failures. In 2011, a new report entitled Understanding Barriers to Medical Device Quality showed that software deficiencies were the primary root cause of 15% of all medical device recalls between 2003 and 2009. So the percentage of recalls attributable to software failures has doubled in roughly 10 years. 15% is a high number, as a majority of medical devices do not contain any software. Also, this number does not include recalls linked to the incorrect use of software during manufacturing, labeling, or design of mechanical devices. Similar trends can be observed among product recalls issued in Europe and the rest of the world, leading to increasingly strict regulations requiring software validation.